Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are talking about Fortnite possibly returning to iOS. What is going on on that side? If you people have been talking about this in the background for a while now, in the last like 12 hours, I've looked into this in a little bit more depth and I've got some really important information for you guys. As always, if you are new around here, don't forget to tell that subscribe and let's jump into this and explore what is possibly going on in the iOS store at the minute, which could relate to Fortnite. So, here is the breakdown for you guys. So yesterday, there was a little statement announced by Apple where they are now allowing, this is the most important factor out of all of this. This is a different lawsuit, so it's not actually the Epic versus Apple lawsuit, but it's actually being kind of handled or overseeing the case by the same person, Rogers, which is really crucial here in this like situation because this is a different lawsuit which has actually gone through. And one thing that did come out of this, which isn't the Apple versus Epic one, like I said, but it's quite important, is this point right here. So Apple will allow developers to use communications like email to share information about payment methods outside of the iOS apps. Developers will not pay Apple a commission on purchases taking place outside the app or the app store. Users must consent to the communication and can opt out. So what this is, it's basically saying that Epic would be able to promote via email of their people that are playing on iOS or other forms, maybe even in the app itself, telling people that they can pay for Fortnite V-Bucks and get better value if you purchase it elsewhere. There will be rules and restrictions on exactly how you can word that because currently there's no really way of doing that. Like, But I'm sure there will be some sort of wording on pay over here to save 10, 20% or something similar to that. Now, originally the way the lawsuit did take place and the reason Fortnite was removed from the app store was because Epic implemented their own payment system inside the app, which would allow people not to use the iOS payment. And therefore that was against Apple's TOS. So they just took it down from the app store and that's where everything started. Now, obviously Epic wanted consumers to pay the original price and have the option and now this is kind of giving consumers the option but it's still not 100 going with what epic wanted obviously epic wanted to have it so consumers could pick between either apple payments which would charge the extra amount or they could pick through the fortnite payment which would save that little percent i think it's like 30 20 percent or something like that so this is a, an interesting one which is currently taking place and one that you will definitely keep following this isn't the end of the ios stuff on it isn't confirming that it is returning but it is a step closer to it returning to ios we've still got lots more to follow i'll keep you guys updated as things do go ahead we're still waiting on the judge decision by the way for the apple versus epic lawsuit and as soon as that does take place i'll let you guys know what that final decision was so you can get a good overview of everything going on there so yeah pretty exciting stuff on that side next up we're going to be moving on to the item shop and have a look what we received tonight so here we go so tonight we actually had the release of the actual J Balvin skin, which is really cool. And you can see here, here's the trailer for him, as well as the item shop preview and some of his skins in there. The battling, the emote, and even the skeleton version of the skin are pretty awesome. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna be copying this one 100%. I think I might pick up the emote and maybe, I think even the glad is pretty nice. I'm not too sure yet what I'm gonna pick up on this, but I don't really listen to J Balvin, so I've kind of made the decision, do I buy this one, do I not? It is a really awesome skin though, so I gotta make that decision. But if you are copying it, don't forget to pop in code POST, that's P-O-S-T, into your item shop to help support this channel further and just support me in general. So thank you anyone considering to do that. It really does go a long way. Don't forget, it does reset every two weeks, so make sure you are re-enter in, in that into your item shop. So thank you everyone supporting me on there. Also, on the side of the crew, pack skin we can see we do have a little kind of promo image of the up and coming crew pack skin which is kind of neat i'm not too sure what i think of this i think it's a really nice one but it looks kind of similar to the one we already have in the shop you know the one that you can buy at the minute in the pack kind of a similar vibe to it in my opinion but can't 100 confirm that if that's going to be the case or not so yeah kind of cool and I just feel like it gives me that vibe of that original one. There's also a lot of these wraps going around at the minute, the doodle wrap. I think these are exclusive to streamers only. I don't know if it'll ever appear in the item shop. Personally, I like this wrap and I don't think I'll ever get my hands on it. I'm not going to sit there trying to win giveaways because your chances of winning giveaways are quite low. So generally, it's a cool wrap. Let's just hope it comes to the item shop. And maybe if we do ever get given codes, obviously I'll give them out to you guys. But right now we don't have access to any codes or anything. So yeah, pretty cool wrap and It'll probably come to the item shop eventually. It might just take a little bit of time or maybe like a free wrap in some sort of tournament or something. So yeah, only time will tell how long that will be until that like sort of thing would take place. So yeah, pretty cool stuff on that side. Anyone that's been living underneath some sort of rock today, Epic Games and Fortnite actually released their 
collaboration in the game to celebrate the work of Dr. King in March through Time, presented by At Time, an interactive experience crafted by my friend Chase Jackman and a bunch of other creative builders. Explore the a reimagined DC, listen to Dr. King's historic speech, and more inside of Fortnite right now. You can see a little trailer of that playing here, and it is a great event to attend. I have not actually attended this just yet, but I will be attending it tomorrow. You also get access to, I believe, a free spray as well if you attend it for 20 minutes. So I would 100% recommend it. It's a really cool creation and just a huge, amazing collaboration. So if you get some free time, make sure you are covering in and popping into this because it's pretty cool. And I yet have got, not had time to do this, but I will definitely do it tomorrow. So I can't wait for that. It's going to be super awesome. So make sure you are popping in for that if you are excited for that sort of stuff. I know I'm super excited to check it out in game. I can't wait to see how that is actually going to turn out. Also, for some reason, if you don't already know, the Wild Week is now active this week. And I believe the Wild Week this week will well it already is containing a variety of different items from the promo images here you can see it has a launch pad a bounce pad and even a rift to go so really cool stuff there if you are excited for all of that i know i am 100 percent so yeah i can't wait to try out them if i get some free time in vr i will go in it it's been really hard to get like free time to do everything with all the creative stuff going on you guys know that i've been grinding creative heavily so the next little one i've got for you is actually a wwe concept from my friend t and tina this is the first like WWE thing we've really seen inside of Fortnite as a collaboration but this is one from TNT now and this is obviously not 100% real it's just a concept guys it may end up getting out of the end though because it's so good and you can see it's a concept of the fiend which is one of the uh, characters from WWE and it's a really really good concept so if you're a fan of WWE this is super cool and uh, yeah maybe one day we'll get added into Fortnite and we'll see a WWE collaboration in Fortnite and this is a really cool skin so great collab or potential collab and great concept there from my friend Tina. Tina. He's been asking me to cover this one for a while, so putting it in there, getting it in for you guys. And yeah, thank you so much. And thank you to everyone who has joined as a member in the last few days. Shout out to everyone over there. And also shout out to Chris, one of my members' friends. He asked me to give a shout out to Chris. So shout out to you there, Chris, if you are watching this. So yeah, shout out to you, bro. And yeah, so just amazing. Thank you everyone for supporting who has been joining as a member. You guys know as a member, you can help out and uh, help support the channel further if you'd like to. So yeah, thank you everyone uh, supporting me on that side and helping me grow even further so much love and respect to everyone doing that also tnt has been creating some really awesome concepts in the past not just wwe ones but he's also made a few really awesome ones to, related to some of the old uh, rock rock bands from the back in the day or not really back in the day but kind of back in the day from my early uh, early like I guess early days back in school he actually made some really cool my chemical romance concepts he's actually made uh Gerard Way, the lead singer concepts, and I thought that was a really cool one. So I put that in the video here so you can see it. He's just made some really awesome concepts recently, and TNT is really rocking these skin concepts a lot. So, yeah, great job there from him. He's really been uh, portraying them really cool. So, let's see what else he comes up with in the future. We like to cover his stuff on the channel. He usually creates some really, really creative concepts that are just outside of the box, which you really wouldn't expect for someone to create. So, yeah, some really cool concepts. Let's hope that we do start to see some more in the future of the Fortnite world or even the Twitter world. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Just before I end this video, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that has been supporting me over on my 50 fashion fashion show map. We hit a huge achievement over these past two weeks of actually making it to the number three spot on the variety most played maps inside of Fortnite Creative itself. So thank you everyone spending time in Fortnite 50 fashion. Don't forget to keep playing Fortnite 50 fashion to keep it going and keep it growing. Let's aim for that number two and number one spot one day. It's a huge objective and obviously a huge kind of barrier to hit that but we are trying our best to break through as much as we can and we've already done a really good job breaking it onto the most played without any intervention from any of the epic games kind of upcoming side or even like we had top growing which is natural growth and in fortnite creative if you don't already know they have something called features which is put there by epic we have not received any of that with the 50 fashion map currently and it's all gone through organic growth thanks to you guys so it's a huge achievement to see that a map has actually managed to make it into the top three without any intervention from epic which is just incredible incredible in my opinion a lot of the maps do get crazy intervention to make it to them top spots so thank you everyone that really has spent a lot of time on 50 fashion and played it and really been enjoying it i spent the last two and a half months on that map so that's why i keep mentioning it in the videos and i really am sorry for consistently mentioning the map but when you spend some so long on it for every single day even including weekends sometimes it kind of just like takes over your mind but we will slowly start to fade out that sort of kind of content i will continue to mention it though in every other video obviously if there's some 
changes to it or if there's something new inside of there that's now part of me and part of the channel so obviously i'm going to mention that to you guys because we spent so long on it and it's such a fun mode if you haven't played it and if you're not someone really into fashion shows just generally go and give it a go anyway and just respect the idea of how it's created and just have a look at the art in there the way it's designed the way it works the way it functions you don't actually have to play the game properly and there's even mini games in there as well if you don't know so yeah go and chill go and have a good time and try it out guys you'll find it in the creative uh, hub at number three on the variety all right guys thank you so much leave a like comment and subscribe and this is postbox pat signing out